Hey guys, this is Tim. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are gonna be talking about Cabo! Well, and more specifically, the Ryu Palace, Baja, California, which is an adults only, all inclusive. This one was, you know, it was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like super phenomenal. I think overall it was a good time. Today we're gonna kind of break down um, the hotel in general and, and my experience there, kind of get my insight and my thoughts as to if you should or shouldn't stay there. When we arrived on the property, we were immediately greeted by somebody to take our luggage and set it to the side so that we didn't have to worry about it until check-in. We got there a little bit before check-in um, and I didn't really ask about any early check-in options at this hotel because I knew how all-inclusives work that as soon as you check in they would give you a wristband um, and then you could enjoy all the amenities without your room being ready. The line for the check-in was actually decently long I would say. It seemed to be a popular hotel. Um, however, they were very speedy and very good at getting people checked in, getting their bracelets, and getting them on their way to enjoy the resort. It is an open lobby, so that you know there is no front doors to the lobby or anywhere. It's just it goes all the way through from the front into what they call the garden area. So if you have a garden room, that's what you face, which we'll also talk about here in a minute. But overall, the the full check in uh, experience was actually pretty good, and I would say it's one of the better ones. Um, I've had for any hotel or all-inclusive hotel um, for that matter. So I would say if I was gonna rate this lobby and check-in experience, it would have to be five out of five Tims for the lobby and check-in. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the rooms. I know a lot of you are probably very interested on how these look um, and the quality of the rooms. And I have to say, honestly, when I stepped into the room, it was very nice. Um, it had a lot of sunlight. Um, it was a very modern room, very modern in design. Um, one of my favorite, favorite things about reuse in general, or a lot of all-inclusives, is that they have an unlimited bar and mini fridge already in the room so that you can make your drink whenever you want. You don't have to wait on anybody. And then of course, speaking of daylight, you can go out onto the huge balcony and we had that garden view, which was really, really beautiful actually. You could hear a little bit of the echo sometimes as people was, were walking through it. However, the view kind of made up for that. When the door was shut, um, you could kind of barely hear it. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, in the room, they had a cute little sitting area um, with a coffee table. They also had a kind of workspace or dining space in there. As far as the beds go, the beds were pretty comfortable. We crashed at the end of the night and it was perfectly fine. We didn't have a hard night's sleep or anything. So the beds did their job, they were okay. Now on to the bathroom. The bathroom portion was a little bit, you know, kind of romantic-y kind of, because the tub was out in the open. So if you wanted to take a bath, we're taking a bath together. You're gonna sit in it, I'm gonna sit on the bed, and we can have a conversation and talk about how the day went, I guess, I don't know. But the tub was out in the open. Um, you did have dual vanities in the bathroom, which was pretty awesome. So you had plenty of room around the vanities to put your personal items. You even had a couple of shelves underneath that you could put some things on. And then the shower was, shower was top tier. But what I really liked about it is it had both a handheld shower and a rain shower head, which was really cool uh, because when you're just underneath there, there's something about a rain shower head that is so awesome and so relaxing and refreshing. Oh, I probably took a shower like twice a day every day. And I usually do once a day, let's get real, okay? I told it myself. So overall, I would probably rate the room four out of five tens on the rating scale because it was good, it just wasn't like bad, but it wasn't great. It was a good room. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the food on the property. So like any other kind of all-inclusive resort, you are gonna have your general buffet or buffets areas. 
So they had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They had a lot of variety and assortment of foods. They had things like a salad bar. They had any kind of fruit that you could probably want for sure. And it was delicious, it was so fresh. They have main dish areas, including things like Asian stations uh, with fried rice and stuff like that. They had pizza. They, had, they just had so many things. So you can choose from those general stations, if you would like, from the buffet, or you could go to one of the many restaurants that they had on property. Now, none of the restaurants take reservations. You don't have to do reservations at this particular resort. All you do is they open at 6.30, you show up anytime between 6.30 and 9.30 is when they close, and they will get you sat. The restaurants were okay. Um, they had things like a steakhouse, an Italian place, Asian place, they had Indian food. So they had a good variety of food, but you could tell that they were trying to be that type of food, but it wasn't quite there. It, which I guess is, is to be expected when you don't specialize in one kind of restaurant or the other, or one type of food or the other. But they did try, the service was phenomenal in each place. They always kept your drinks full, uh, whether it was water, wine, beer, whatever you were having, it was always full. Plates were constantly removed from your tables, whether you're at a restaurant or buffet. I mean, this resort, as far as service goes, was one of the best resorts I think I've ever been at, honestly. They also had in the lobby of the bar, now we've already talked about the lobby, but there is a space right off the lobby called the 24 hour lounge. And so in the 24 hour lounge, they had snacks and foods 24 hours a day. So they had things like chips and queso, they had some dips, they had some char charcuterie, they had wine and beer and sodas, and they had one of our favorite things the whole time. And it was this chicken Southwest burrito. Oh my gosh. And I don't know what made it so good, but it was just, it's one of those burritos that's just like meaty and cheesy and creamy and whatever E. I mean, it was delicious. Now, everybody's probably asking, but how are the drinks? The drinks were good. And I feel like for an all-inclusive, they were what you would expect probably at the price point too. However, um, they were a little weak. So I would say as an overall rating for the food and drink, I would give this three Tims out of five. Because, you know, it was good. They were trying. The drinks were a little weakish. We had to ask for that. But the service overall was amazing. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about the pools. This is probably an important one for a lot of people, including myself, because I love a good pool. It's, I, it has to be vibey, it has to be a feeling and whatever. These pools were, hmm, they were okay. Um, I would say first and foremost, there is no shade, no shade if you're in the pool, none whatsoever. You need to take a hat, you need to wear sunblock, you need to wear sunglasses, you need to protect yourself because at this resort, there is no tree shade hitting the pool, nothing. Now the loungers that are directly off the pool, they do have some covered areas and even some umbrellas. The pools are nice to swim in, you just don't have a lot of protection. I will say there were some times that the pool got a little rowdy. I guess that's kind of like, if it's an adults only in that area, it's gonna be different than an adults only um, up the mid coast or San Jose where it's a little more family friendly. It even got to a point to where the pool would get so rowdy and they were just having fun and partying. Y you know, people would take off their tops and you're just like, uh, put that back on. <laughs> but this one guy would get out of the pool and he would go touch the DJ equipment at the pool and change songs, which we all know is kind of like a big no, no. So the manager had to like eventually come get him, remove the music and the speakers. Everybody lost that privilege and people want to listen to music. I don't understand why you're touching it. It's not your show, but I guess that's what happens when adults are drinking. Um, again, it is an adults only all inclusive. You know, if you want a more chill vibe, then this hotel's probably not for you. So as far as the pools go, I would say that they are a three out of five Tims because they're relaxing and they're beautiful. They're just not the most shaded and it can get a little crazy. 
Okay, so last topic before my final thoughts of the video in general is the entertainment and amenities and things to do at the resort. Now, typically in most resorts I've been to, there has been good entertainment options, things to do on the property. But I will say this hotel, being kind of a smaller boutique style adults only, there wasn't very much entertainment at this hotel. So at this hotel, you're swimming and doing things during the day, but you're gonna have to go off and do an excursion, which is what we did. So we went and saw the Ark and then we went snorkeling. That is an extra fee that doesn't come with the hotel. Uh, but some of the entertainment that did come with the hotel, uh, there's only a couple of nights where things were really like, oh, it's a show. Um, they did some sort of like kind of weird mother nature, mother earth kind of tribute thing. I don't know. It was, it was interesting to say the least, but there was that. Then karaoke was one night, which actually I will say the singers at karaoke were very good. They were very good. So I was actually impressed with that. And then there was one night we came into the entertainment where they were having a Michael Jackson show. So it's almost like an unspoken rule that every Mexican resort um, has like a Michael Jackson show. Um, but they, their Michael was actually really good. Good dancer, good at lip syncing. Um, it was a good show actually. But I will say there's not a whole lot of variety. Next door, you are allowed to go onto Santa Fe's property because you're staying at a palace. And so you can go over there for the pool parties. Sometimes they have pool parties during the day, uh, like the white and animal or jungle party. And then at night, they'll have like things like the neon party. So they do like foam and there's neon dancers and everybody wears neon and bright colors. They have black lights. So it can be a cool experience if you want to do those things, but you have to go next door for some of the entertainment. So I would say overall rating for entertainment or things to do at this resort would have to be a sad two out of five Tim's. Just because you either have to go off resort um, or you, you know, you can't really swim in the ocean either. Um, they attempt to have some volleyball. So there is something, there are some things to do, um, but just not a whole lot, honestly. So, okay. So what are my final thoughts about this hotel? I would say it is a good hotel, specifically if it's an intro hotel to get you to Cabo. The quality is good, but not that good to justify, I think, the price. Uh, the room was clean, the resort was super clean, the service was phenomenal. However, I don't think that there was enough offer. And along with all of the buffoonery that was going on <laughs> at the pool and everything else, um, I'm not sure it was 100% worth that price point. My rating overall is 17 out of 25 Tims for this property. Again, I think that kind of justifies what I've been talking about with this resort. So definitely check it out if you're looking to go to Cabo soon. So thanks for joining me on this review. And if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and even maybe hit that notification bell so that you know when other videos drop. And until next time, I'll see you later.